From the developer behind the acclaimed app simulators like the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim comes the eagerly awaited sequel to 2008's Fallout 3. Fallout 4. Wait, is it really Fallout 4? Fallout 4 is really happening? Fallout 4 confirm? Hell yeah! For the first time, meet your loving family and enjoy the pleasures of modern living, like rudely rejecting salesmen and awkwardly morphing your face. Well, before everything gets nuked to oblivion and you find yourself in an apocalyptic wasteland 200 years later with no family and not having aged a day. But hey, at least you get a dog. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Traverse a massive open world wasteland that's more colorful and epic than before as you travel to Boston, Massachusetts and decide your ultimate fate. Witness epic battles in the revamped power armor as you fight death claws to the death. Witness the return of VATS, a combat system that was so finicky with criticals before that now they just give you one for free. Ha! 360 no scope, bitch! Customize your surroundings, build your own weapons, design your power armor the way you want, and traverse the world. Well, let me just set this up first. And let me move this over here, and take this down and... Ah, f that's wrong! Just completely wrong! What has my life become? Pre-order the game to receive benefits like a working pit boy. Play the mobile game Fallout Shelter because you just can't bear the weight. So, wait. Mobile companion apps and pre-orders? Aren't we supposed to take a stand against this stuff? Holy shit. I can play a Donkey Kong game on this? Take my money, Bethesda! Take it, damn you! Starring Joe Average, Professor Snuggles, Cannon Fodder, Loot trains and mistakes waiting to happen. And Call of Duty's worth. Get it? Because COD? Fallout 4. Ha! They just don't make games like this anymore. <laughs>